All right, it's time to get serious. This this is a a quick start tutorial for uh, my my Vic Twenty cross platform tracker. This is uh, version dot eight dot something. There's uh, still some nefarious behaviors, and it's not uh, feature complete. But I've seen some folks write music with it, so. We're gonna we're gonna go over how to use this thing right quick. So it's already open. I already got like the the built-in demo song loaded up. I hit space bar. All right, all right. It's got music. You hit space bar again. It stops. So over here, this is your pattern editor. You get you know, four channels. It's the VIC-20. I'm going to pretend you know what a tracker is and you kind of know what the VIC-20 is already. All right. So there we got the pattern editor. We got the song editor over here. Then you got the speed table. This is um, how many frames per row of the patterns. And the volume table does the same thing. It's the volume per row of the patterns. And you're just stuck with these. That's uh, That was just a design decision I made early on. Um, you get 128 different patterns. They can be shared between the four channels. And the song length, max length, is uh, also 128. Or 7F in hex. 70 Flevin. Is that how you say that? 70 Flevin? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm tabbing around. Uh, there's a pretty limited range of the number of octaves per voice. And, yeah, um, each... Each voice is an octave higher than the one before it. And you got this thing up here. And because of a uh, sh keyboard shortcut input scope error, if you hit space, it uh, doesn't give you a space up here. That's a bug. We're going to figure that out in future version. But let's, let's, uh, let's pretend like we just loaded the page. It's blank. That's because Chrome and its infinite wisdom is like, only YouTube can auto start audio. So you, you got to tell the browser, I want audio. So you just hit any key, space bar or enter, what, whatever. It'll, it'll do it. All right. So we got our empty guy here. Um, it's pretty typical tracker stuff. You have um, your two octaves on the keyboard. I got my keyboard down here. Bloop, 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 bloop. I mean, so you got home works, end works, page down takes you, you know, whatever. Um, so let's let's uh, what are we doing? We're in the, we're in this channel. So um, one is note off. Of course, of course, you want to know that, right? Pretty straightforward shit. Um, we've got block functions. So if I just right quick, wait, what? Oh, that's right. I never implemented page down while you're doing a selection. So N doesn't work either. I thought I made that shit. Oh, well. Oops. <laughs> so I get a little confused sometimes. Tab, tab takes you between the different um, editors. So when you're in uh, the song editor or the pattern editor, you don't want to hit tab to go to the next channel. So that's a thing. So control V, boom, now it's in. And um, you'll notice how like each channel has a higher number in octave. That is um, just uh, how the chip is designed. Okay, so. What else do I need to show you? Um, so I can copy this and then I can paste it a few times. Um, so let's say you want to clone this. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm using the arrows. I got control A, you hit control A once, it selects the whole uh, pattern or that whole row. You hit it again, it selects all. I can go control copy, data in the clipboard. Now, navigating navigating the song you can hit control shift from anywhere in the editor and you hit up and down and it'll move you through the song no matter what 
uh, one of these uh, input grid field things you're in. But um, so uh, plus and minus will change what pattern you're on currently. And we want to change the whole row. So that's, oops, is that shift plus? Yeah. So hit that until we're here. Boom. Right. I don't know. <laughs> and you can do similar things over here. So um, I think control all does does do all that. So if I do that and I come down here and paste, boom, like that. Um, yeah, so you can only change a row at a time. Um, but, uh, so let's let's say, let's get to a blank pattern here. Um, you wanted to do like a note bend down. Like you could, I mean, this isn't great, but, uh, oh, I didn't go over the tunings. Anyways, um, so if I wanted to do like a bend down on a note, C, C. Now you can adjust the actual value. Um, of what you're doing by hitting the geez, I didn't go over what the meta key is like we got this whole uh, where were we six math minutes. Uh, we got the whole uh, <laughs> the fucking manual that you read. God damn it. This thing. Um, it's all here. It's all here. So, yeah. <laughs> this, let's go over the hex value inputs because that's that's hilarious. So I came up. Oh, yeah. So you hold control and you can. Ah. <laughs> oh my God! I'm sorry about this. So we're. A train wreck <laughs> anyways entering hex values I'm gonna go over to like this this speed thing so like one through nine work just like you, you would think they would but um, why oh right you can't put in a zero in the speed volume speed column obviously but um, QWERTY is your is your a through F if that makes any sense so if we come here, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit the tilde or uh, back tick key, and that's our zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No zero. Zero does nothing. And then it's qwerty. Um, I don't expect this to be adopted by the tracker scene, but I love it. Um, it just makes more sense to me than hunt and peck, but whatever. Uh, that should probably be something you can uh, opt into and not be forced to do. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's let's make a new guy. All right, so I want to show you that if you um, as you can see, it's playing back. Do uh, you know? I haven't filled in what these patterns are. The uh, play routine when you export does not support this behavior. Um, it'll just stop if any of these are not set. So you need you you need the length of your song to have these filled. You get 128 patterns and 128 rows to your song. Um, it should be plenty to do something fun. I don't know. Like unless you're going to I I, I did the math. If you're doing speed one through the whole thing, you get like. 30 some seconds before it repeats. So that's whatever. Um, I'm gonna uh, hit control shift D. That um, loads the built-in demo song. I probably will have a actual like menu of built-in example songs in the future from uh, artists that you visit. That would be ideal in my mind. Um, so I'm gonna shift tab over here. So here we got this next, which um, Whatever. It just makes it odd meter at the end. It's really dumb. Um, and now I removed it. 
so uh, let's see here. Let's go over saving. So I hit control save. Um, this is saved in the browser's local storage. So it's not really accessible to you, but if you reload the thing, you can hit control R and what happened? So, well, that's embarrassing. So basically, uh, it loaded it, but it's not drawing it accurately. I, that is bogus. Um, so that's apparently loading it uh, from the from uh, <laughs> local storage. If you hit Control Shift S, it will uh, force download a .json file, which is a plain text uh, JSON JavaScript object guy. And uh, you know, if you if you wanted to work on the song in this format, that's obviously cool because uh, what, whatever. Um, so if you hit control O to open, it just says drag the file on the window and that's all you do. You just drag it over, drop file to load, boom. Uh, wow. And that, that doesn't look right to me at all. Hell, hella buggy. Okay. Um, <laughs> boom. I'm so confused and embarrassed. Should I should I start this, do this video another time? Whatever. The thing works. I've seen it work. I did songs with it. Other people did songs with it. This is so shit. So just, just out of curiosity. So I'm going to, uh, control shift D. Okay. Huh? So if I revert, well, it remembers it this time. What the, what the heck? Control D D selects just in case you were curious. <laughs> what the heck? All right. So if I load my file, my song now, oh, it does it again. Can I just. Oop, look at that. I don't even know how to put in my own hex. There we go. All right. So you want to export this to hardware, whatever. Um, control E. And that will... Uh, where did it... It didn't save. What the heck? Control E. Runtime binary exported. I don't see it. Hold on. Whoa! All right, I don't know what's up. I uh, I just loaded it in a new tab and hit Control E, and I got the I got the this thing. So keep that, keep that. Now, the next step is uh, we we will want to load it onto hardware. So I've got uh, where am I? Oh, hold, hold what? Ugh. All right, so I got uh, I got this guy. So I'll take ugh, the, this guy out of that. Uh, and then I put it in this guy. And then I put this guy back in that guy with the, with the program on it. And then we'll load it onto, onto this guy. And that's going to be great. And okay, we'll be, we'll be doing. Uh, uh, all right, I know, I know you, you were all very worried, but I think we got there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna load this thing. And uh, sorry, it's black and white. That's just um, the nature of, I guess, splitting the video signal between my whatever and the whatever. All right, let's, oh, ah, ooh, ah, ee, ah. <laughs> All 
All right, thanks for checking us out. This is a good time. We're just having a great time with the Vic 20. The Vic 20 is where it's at. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. If you were, if you were worried, because I was worried. I, I don't know about you, but I was worried. And if you weren't worried, I'm sorry that you like, I like that. Because I'm probably like that, so that's fine. All right. Uh, there'll be updates in the future. More features and less bugs. 